Hello everybody, my name is Amanda Pooley and I am Deputy Editor of Professional Beauty and today I'm joined by the amazing Jana Sheldon who's going to be talking about how to create successful protocols with non-invasive technologies. Um, this webinar is sponsored by Zenit um, and skin and brow specialist Jana who owns her own home-based salon. Um, she's going to be talking about how you can combine multiple technologies to deliver bespoke advanced facials for clients that really work. Um, she'll share her story of how she turned her home Bay Salon into a successful skin orientated business. She'll explain the technologies she uses and why, yeah. including microcurrent, radio frequency, and mesotherapy. And she'll reveal how training up in these technologies and investing in the right device can help elevate your business. Um, John is going to be doing a presentation, but there will be time at the end for any questions if you do have anything for her. So if you do, do just post the question in the chat box on Zoom, or if you post them on Facebook, if you're watching through there, and I will post them to Jana at the end. But um, Jana, hello. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me, Amanda. And thank you, everyone, for joining me. That's no worry. So, John, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and get your presentation up um, and you can start and just let me know as and when you need me to move along. Okay. Okay. So I will just get this up. Okay. The... So... Okay. Can you see that? Yes, I can. Yeah, thank you. Brilliant. So, yeah, if you just get going, Jana, and you just let me know as and when you need me to move stuff along. Um, again, thank you again for having me and thank you for joining me today. Um, before we get on to the topic, I would like to just give you a little information about myself. Um, I have been in the beauty industry for over 15 years. And in the past, I have worked in various spas and salons. Um, nine years ago, I opened my own salon and which the business did really well. And eventually we expanded and I had a salon uh, with the staff um, over 12 people. So some of them were self-employed, some of them were employed. Um, the business was doing really, really well. You know, the business was booming until the pandemic um, when we all had to close down. And, and I'm sure, you know, for everybody, for all of us, it was the most devastating time for all of us you know having to close down something that you work so hard for and not knowing um, whether you're going to have any income in it, it was it was even though we're in the same boat we're feeling helpless and feeling devastation it was just um just a strange time for everybody so um when bad things happen you know we just have to sometimes look at some positive things and i'm not dismissing um you know people People lost their lives during pandemic. People lost their loved ones. People lost their jobs. But there has to be something positive. So which I had to find it out myself. So during lockdown, I had to think about, you know, what I can do next. Um, am I going to be able to um, run my business again? You know, all, all the clients going to come back to me. You know, I'm sure all the salon owners went through the same thing over and over again. One thing I realized during the lockdown that even though I had no income, my business was closed down, um, I kind of felt less stressed. And I realized that time that I was actually um, really stressed out while I was in the salon. It was affecting me mentally. Um, for my family, um, I hadn't been a pleasant person to be around because I was always stressed out. And I always, also, sorry, also realized I wasn't spending time with my family. So I made a, a big decision, which to close salon and work from home. Luckily, I had the space um, to convert the space into a little home clinic or a little salon. Um, but during the process of closing the salon and doing completely different, um, it was scary. There were loads of questions came to mind. Are the clients going to follow me? Am I going to have to start right from the scratch? What if nobody comes to the salon? How am I going to make this work? Um, so while I was thinking that um, during lockdown, everybody just um, talked about self-care, skin care. So this is something, it's just evolved rapidly. We all realized during lockdown how important it is to look after ourselves, our mental health, our skin, um, everybody wanted glowing skin. So that was something 
I had it in my mind and I thought, right, I need to do something different, not just offering the brows that's something I specialize in. Um, my background is actually skin. I did level three in skin years ago. So I revisited all the information, did a lot of research on what facials I can offer to my existing clients and attract new clients because it was not sure, I wasn't sure whether my clients will follow. So after research, I wanted something, a device that provided multifunctional treatments, not just one particular treatment, but quite a few facial treatments to see a different age range, different concerns. So I um, managed to um, come across at Zemix and I bought this machine um, and I told my friends, look, I've got this machine I, I need to practice I've had the training online but I need to practice and I see if this machine works and I can make my clients happy and I can actually see the results um, so my friends they were guinea pigs I did loads of before and after pictures so I can show all my hard work to to the potential clients and to existing clients through the, you know the biggest platform we've got which is just amazing like social media Instagram and Facebook so I use that platform so when I uh, thought about offering my clients facial, I had loads of different types of facials, like Hydrolux facial, which is deep cleansing, which will for a bit younger clientele who want to just clean skin, prep the skin um, as a blank canvas. So the products they put in, they work better when you've got a clean skin and also introduce microneedling. But the, the protocol, um, as we were talking about today, developed is for radio frequency and microcurrent. So the reason I chose these two um, technologies, um, they work really, really well together. So it's like going into, into the gym and doing a little bit of cardio and a little bit of weight training. The both, when you combine together, you obviously get the results, which is weight loss and toning the body. So how I see radio frequency is cardio part of our facial training. So radio frequency, stimulates uh, collagen production and uh, it also increases elastin so hence it's very anti-aging and um, it makes the skin look a lot plumper uh, so that's cardio bit because it works just on the skin so that's a radio frequency for you whereas microcurrent works a bit deeper and it works on muscle so it's like weight training. So you've got your cardio, you've got your weight training and when they combine together you get the maximum results. So the protocol I have developed, um, when my clients come to me, I obviously have a thorough consultation and see whether this protocol will be suitable for them or not. Not, not everybody wants anti-aging. Some people just want a bit of relaxing treatment. So this not necessarily will be suitable for you. So it's the best thing to find out what clients need, what they want from the facial. If the clients want to have anti-aging effect, yes, a course of microcurrent and uh, radio frequency will be really good. And also it is important to let clients know just having one treatment, like just one off, it's not gonna give you any results. It's like, again, going back to the gym example, you go to the gym once a year, you're not gonna see any results. You've got to be consistent. So it, it is important to let clients know um, and be honest with them and and let them know having just one treatment is not going to be enough. So the combination of microcurrent and um, radio frequency treatment, the protocol I use, um, I use um, this dynamic Zemitz gloves. Um, there's microcurrent probes as well you can use, but I prefer to use gloves and I just feel like it gives me more control. And also it makes the treatment um, a bit relaxing as well because you're getting a little bit of massage. So, so I always, start the facial with radio frequency because it works on the skin and it stimulates the collagen so it just preps the skin for the next treatment um, the protocols I use um, uh, the sorry the techniques I use I have I've got um, press and hold smoothing and the lifting techniques for the muscles so to use a microcurrent device because you will be working on muscles. It is so important to understand the position of muscles, the functions of muscles and um, what it does, everything. So for example, I'm just gonna um, go with one example. So um, the muscles around our chin, which is called mentalis, 
which is quite small. So when I work on mentalis, I tend to use my technique called press and hold, which is just using, you know, two fingers or one fingers, you press and you hold, you press and hold, you do for a few seconds and you mimic that onto the other side of uh, the face, which is again mentalis. So over that, you've got um, depressor labi and you work on that depressor labi because that muscle is slightly bigger and longer. Uh, so you can use press and hold and smoothing technique as well. So you basically you're lifting upward. Another muscle, which is a round shape, and I hope I pronounced this correctly because I always struggle, is called um, orbicularis oris, which is around the mouth. And around the mouth, I tend to use my index finger and my middle finger and just use smoothing technique. And I've noticed when I've used this technique on my clients, it actually gave uh, the lips a bit of plumping effect as well. So by using that, you're not just tightening the muscle around your mouth, but it's also plumping slightly. And you're not going to see dramatic results, but you do see some sort of result that you can actually, you know what, it works. So the next muscle I work on is zygomatic, which is connected to your um, um, around your mouth. And I tend to use the lifting. So I use two fingers where the start of the muscle is and the other hand, and it goes like that. So you basically lift, lifting. And can you also use hook your finger and you can kind of lift that way. So you're actually creating that high cheek bones and your contouring face. And you've got another one is around eyes, which is also called orbicularis um, oculi, which is around the eye. So you can use press and hold with ring finger, uh, ring finger, sorry. The, the reason I use ring fingers, you don't want to put too much pressure around your eyes because of the, the how the muscles made that it's quite thin. So by using um, ring finger, you press and hold, press and hold, press and hold a few times, do it for a few minutes. And then you can, above your brows, you can just lift. And recently I've used this technique, um, which is, we will go through the, um, actually, can we go, go through the um, PowerPoint presentation, Amanda? Yes, of course. I'll move along to the next slide for you. There is a little video that, uh, of the technique I use. So you can see on that one, I'm using lifting. Let's just wait until it plays. I think, it's, can you see this on YouTube? I don't know if you can see this on my screen. I can, I can see. Yes, but, it's just starting to play now. All right. It's great. So you can see on the using old technique just to lift the, the jawline. So this is my client Becky, and I, I have had the permission to talk about Becky. When Becky was um, five years old, um, she had uh, facial palsy, which is also known as Bell's palsy, which um, has a left right side of her face slightly drooped, especially around her eyes and the eyebrow uh, slightly dropped. And obviously this has um, concerned my clients and often we talked about it. And then I, one day when we were talking about, um, you know, my client's concern, Becky's concern, we said, you know, let's have a go at, go at this microcon facial and I'm gonna use this technique on you and see if it works. So um, I use that technique, you know, I've just showed you with press and hold around your eyes and lifting the brows. I use that on Becky. Um, after two treatments, which is on the next slide, you can see the results, how it's the, the, just only two treatments has opened of her eyes. Um, I think it's, yeah. So if you look at before picture, you can see the eye look a lot smaller than the, the others uh, after, after picture. So when I did this client, Becky was over the moon. And, you know, she was quite tearful, actually, when she saw, she said, she's, she's just turned 30 and past 22 years. She said, this is, that was the first time she's ever seen her face so symmetrical. So, you know, you, you can see the, the versatile of this, this machine and this technology. It's not just for anti-aging. The people who are um, 
you know, suffering from or had uh, problems with their facial droop, droopiness or Bell's palsy or facial palsy, whatever you call it, it helps to boost their confidence. And as a therapist, you know, we are in the industry, we give so much to our clients and we give so much so we get the results. We see the happy clients and to see the happy clients is something is priceless. Even though we all, everybody here to make income, to make money. And, you know, we want to work smarter. We want to work less and earn more, more money. But seeing happy clients and giving them that confidence that they didn't have before, it's just something, something else. It's just so priceless. Um, so, you, you know, you can, you can advertise um, this microcon facial, not just for anti-aging, for um, for someone like Becky or someone who wants to actually start anti-aging treatment at early age as a prevention. So th this, this treatment, you know, it, it, you might not see results straight away, but you've got to, as a therapist and as a client, you've both got to be consistent. You've got to do the treatments passionately. And I said before, you, you should know all the muscles and how, how it works. Um, and incorporating with, with um, radio frequency, which stimulates the, the collagen. So when you put both together, it works really well. So say one client booked in for 10, a course of 10 treatments. Sometime a client might not need 10 and you may see results after six. When that happens, you can always suggest to clients, right, we're gonna just um, do some maintenance every four weeks. So keep the results. Clients need to have this treatment, either radio frequency or microcurrent, or even other facials like microneedling. And that is one of quite popular treatments. It's like a non-invasive treatments where people can't have time off work to stay at home because you know there's so long downtime. These treatments are so quick and so uh, result driven and there's no downtime. And you can even have these treatments in your lunch break. You can go for an hour, have the treatment and nobody will know what you have done. So the facial isn't just anti-aging, it's, it's about feeling good about yourself, feeling good about being in the skin you are, looking after the skin. At the end of the day, we spend so much money on clothing and, you know, to look nice, but our skin is on the show all the time. When you get compliments like, you know what, you've got really glowing skin, it, is so much better than oh you've got a really nice top on it it's just it's very confidence boosting um so it's you know and, and it's part of self-care um should we go into the next slide amanda so you can see this is one of my clients um she had two treatments um radio frequency and microcolon you can see can you see the results can you see it amanda it's a bit blurry here. Yes, I can see it um, fine quite clearly. And it looks yeah. okay on the Facebook stream as well. Okay. So, you know, just after two, two treatments, you can see um, the lines have kind of almost gone. And if we go to next slide again, Amanda, please. Uh, this is my client, Lindsay. She had actually six, a uh, course of six treatments and she's, she has been continuing with, with it every four weeks. So even just after four procedure, you can see the massive results. The skin looks more radiant. The lines have um, gone and the facial muscles look really, really toned. And that's, you know, this is another really happy client. And I have, I have been posting this, these um, up before and after picture on, on Facebook because you know, it just makes my day. It's just like, oh, I've done, you know, I'm so proud of uh, doing, giving my clients good skin and so proud of these, these results. And I, I really like sharing these results. So, it, you know, it's just, you know, as I said, you know, I'm going to be biased. It's just amazing treatment. And you, you, I think everybody should have it. That's, that's what I can say. So can we go into the next uh, slide, please? So this is my other client. Um, she has been continuing with the treatment. Um, and with this one, I have mixed with, you know, microcorn, microneedling. Um, she also has some chemicals peel as well. But this picture was taken during consultation. This client of mine, she messaged me, um, oh, I've seen some before and after pictures of your facials. I would like to know more about it. So I said, oh, that's great. Um, you know, come and see me, let's, let's book you in for consultation. So when I do consultation, 
Um, I also give them 10 minutes of free facial so they can, you know, I, I don't want my clients to commit to something they're not too sure about. So they have 10 minutes of the treatment. So this one was my current and you can see the lines around her eyes just disappear just after 10 minutes of micro current and um, her skin looks a lot better now. Um, um, this client had some couple of chemical peels and microneedling as well and now she's continuing with radio frequency um, should we move on to the next slide please oh this is um one of my guinea pig as i said before i told my friend right i bought this machine i need to practice so this is my friend and i said um i will do six treatments on you but in return i need your face. I need to take before and after pictures so I can advertise on Instagram and grow my business. So this is my friend and um, she's been continuing with this microphone radio frequency um, since then. Uh, and her friends have been asking if she had Botox and she hasn't. She's been having uh, these facials, um, radio frequency microcurrent, and she had a couple of uh, micro needling as well. Uh, so again, you can see uh, she looks the after picture, she looks a lot younger. Um, just, just great. Um, should we go on to the next one again? So this is another client um, who had a course of six treatments, and this is just after the fourth one. Um, her main concern was the lines on her forehead. And she, she was in early 30s, um, really good skin, but she was just worried about the lines on her forehead. So just we, even though I uh, did the treatment overall facial, uh, whole face, but the, the focus was on forehead. That's what's, uh, that was her main concern. So I basically um, spent about 15 minutes on forehead on each um, visit. Um, now, you know, she hardly has got any lines on her forehead and um, Deb's been coming for what? Since, since June. So she's been continuing with all the facials. So 90% of my clients who have been having these facials have continued um, because you know they, they're just happy with their skin and they're going to continue with it because um, it's as we say you know get older gracefully and um, so should we move on to the, the next one again so that's another um, before and after this is just after the three procedure I think as I did um, two radio frequency and one microcurrent and this client also had um, a course of six treatments. Um, next one. Oh, that's it. So yeah, yeah, so that is all about radio uh, frequency and microcurrent facial. So um, if anybody's got any questions or anything, if you've got any questions, Amanda, please do feel free to ask me. And I think I have covered everything. Sorry, John, I'm just trying to close your presentation. Um, okay. There we go. Um, yeah, thank you so much for that. That was really interesting. And the before and after pictures absolutely speak volumes, don't they? Um, yeah. I think some of them um, looked amazing. I mean, lots of comments have said, wow, that's really amazing. Some of the results, John, you should be pr so proud of yourself. Um, I think what's interesting as well is that you've kind of mixed up a lot of things, a lot of different technologies for a lot of different people. Um, how do you know which technologies to go for when you look, first look at a client? Like, are there certain things that are particularly good for certain skin conditions and things like that? Um, did you mean which facials to use or the technique I have developed? Um, which technologies like you know when you're putting a facial together like if someone comes in and say that they've got like a bit of acne scarring or say they're doing yeah. rosacea or things like that like what technologies do you think are particularly good for certain skin conditions if if someone's got active acne I would I would ask them if they're still using um, any medication so if they're on any medication like anti antibiotics I wouldn't do any treatments because their skin is so photosensitized by mm. doing treatments, you're just gonna have, you're gonna sensitize their skin more. But if someone's got um, acne scar, I would go for either chemical peel or microneedling. Um, yeah. The reason I 
probably do microneedling more because what microneedling does, it actually creates microchannels in your skin, which triggers your uh, body's natural healing system, which is um, when body heals, it, call it, um, it produces collagen. So that way that, you know, the, all the dents and all the uh, dips and everything, the, the collagen will fill it up and it will smooth. And also if there is any like a blemishes, it also good for really good for pigmentation as well. So for acne, I would definitely go for microneedling or chemical peel. Cool. And so many people want to know what Zemitz machine that you invested in. Um, I have uh, bought two Zemitz machines. Uh, one's called First and Pro, and those those are the results from First and Pro. It's a multifunctional uh, device. It has got actually radio frequency, microcurrent, um, ne no needle mesotherapy, and scrubber. And scrubber is just amazing. It's just if if you've got a client and they've got really blocked pores, by using that, it's quite satisfying. You know what, what you can extract <laughs> that. So amazing for um, congested skin and blog pores. It's really scrub. It's really good. Um, you know, I can't think of the other. And, and uh, microdermal abrasion. And that is very popular treatment. So when you invest in this, this particular device, you know, you've got six different treatments you can do. Another machine I invest is called Hydrolux. And that is one of the most um, popular treatment I do which is just deep cleansing. It exfoliates your skin, extracts, and it also adds this amazing glow to the skin. Um, we use dry serum, so it was just, just great. Yeah. Mm. If, if you if you got access to um, my Instagram, and you can see there's a lot of before and after picture using different devices and di mm. different techniques. And what would yeah. be your like key bit of advice for um, people who run home-based salons who are looking to invest in a device for their business? What would you say is like your number one key thing to look out for? Or was there a lesson that you learned when you were looking for your device? Sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Jana. Um, I think the signal just went a little bit. Do you need me to repeat the question? Just at the end of it, sorry. Um, yeah, um, just any advice you have for people who run their own home-based salon or clinic who are looking to invest in a device? Like, what's your top advice of, like, the key things to look for? Or was there anything you learned when you were looking for your device before you ended up with Zemit yeah. that you think is valuable yeah. advice? So when it comes to device, there are a wide range of um you know, devices and quite expensive to so quite cheap. And yeah, it's very difficult to choose which one to go for. So what I can say is when you, if you're thinking about working from a home salon, one thing, believe in yourself. Mm. Do your research, see what kind of um, market you've got and go with a good brand. Um, doesn't matter what machine you can buy a machine that's million pound to probably thousand pound it's actually not the machine that does the work it's actually you or as a therapist myself it's like having you know um, having a piece of gym equipment you can have a gym a home by just looking at it you're not going to lose weight are you you got it you got to know how to use it so training research training know what you're doing and when you get the clients be honest, do a thorough consultation and find out what their concern and just ask yourself, is it achievable? And if it's not achievable, and just say, you know what, this treatment is not going to work for you, but then what I'm going to find out, see what I can do. You know, always give them the options so th they trust you as well. So I, it's, mm -hmm. I think it's best to be honest. Not, not sell treatments that not gonna, um, you know, you, your client's not gonna benefit from it. So yeah know your what you're doing um you know trust yourself and be honest and consultation is the key yeah brilliant and also quite a few people have asked if they'll be able to get a copy of this video so as soon as this live finishes um the webinar will be available on professional beauty's facebook page and um, so you can catch it there yeah. and we'll also be loading it up to our instagram page later today as well so you can watch it on there as well so if you have missed the start or anything like that you can go back and look at some of jana's stuff before then um, but i just wanted to say thank you so much for today it's been amazing talking to you and seeing your results um, they look amazing i think a lot of the advice that you've given will be quite inspirational for other people 
Um, I just wanted to remind everyone that this webinar is sponsored by Zemitz and they do a wide range of devices that include kind of every kind of technology going. So it's definitely worth going and checking them out. And you can find out about um, the one that Jana has as well on their website. But otherwise, I guess that's all for today. So I just want to again say thank you so much for your time and for sharing your expertise. Um, and yeah, thank you everyone for joining as well. And I guess we'll see you all on the next live. Oh, I think Jana's signal has gone. Can you hear us, Jana? Um, you just broke up again. Oh. <laughs> just saying um, thank you again for your time and just saying um, I hope you have a good day and I'm sure I'll see you around at an event or two. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. And thanks everybody for joining me. You know, um, if you've got any questions, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to, happy yeah. to do it. If you yeah. do have any questions after the fact, if anybody is watching this on Instagram or Facebook later, you can pop them in the comment box and we will pass them on to Jana and get some answers back for you as well. So just yeah. in case you are watching this later, um, you can still post some questions and we'll get answers. But thank you so much and see everybody later. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much.